Hey everyone, Lee Goldstein here and welcome to our weekly Market Movers video preview. This is our trade room schedule as well as a look at all the events we feel will move the markets in the upcoming week. Let's get started. We have a very busy week this week. Monday at 4 a.m. There's no trade room for Spanish Flash CPI, but we'll keep, a, keep an eye on that report. We'll start in the trade room Monday at 6.30 for McDonald earnings, and then in the afternoon at 3.45 for Finn's earnings, and then we'll finish out the day of Monday at 9.15 p.m. for Chinese manufacturing, non-manufacturing. Tuesday, we'll start in the trade room at 6.15 in the morning for Caterpillar's earnings. We'll be back at 8 a.m. for Canada GDP, and a new report will be watching the U.S. Employment Cost Index. That's also at 8.30 as an event on Tuesday. Trade room starts at 8 a.m. Back in the trade room at 9.15 for Chicago PMI, a family money trade. Staying in the room for CB Consumer Confidence, also a family money trade, and that will be our free stream of the week on YouTube. AMD earnings at 3.45 p.m. on Tuesday with the API crude oil report and then finishing out the day with Chinese manufacturing, the Kaishin report, 9.30 p.m. Tuesday trade. Wednesday morning, we've got three watch reports. So watch means that even though we're gonna be in the trade room, they are reports we have not had a lot of history trading. So they may be traded very small. We might just watch them for education and learning. They are earnings. CVS, Humana, and Kraft Heinz, 615 trade room on Wednesday. First big trade on Wednesday is 7.45 a.m. for the ADP Family Money Report. 9.30 back in the room for ISM Manufacturing with Jolts, also family money, and will stay in the room for crude oil inventories. Big event when Wednesday, 1.30 p.m., the FOMC statement, and then we'll finish out 3.45 p.m. in the room for Qualcomm's earnings. Thursday, 3.30 in the morning, just watching Swiss CPI, not a trade room, but it could be an impactful report for the Euro and the Franc, or the, yeah, the Swiss uh, currency futures. Then we'll be back in the room at 5.45 for Cigna earnings, 6.30 Papa John's and Wendy's, 7.30 in the morning on Thursday for British Bank of England official bank rate, staying in the room for unemployment, and preliminary non-farm productivity. Back at 10 a.m. on Thursday for natural gas storage. And we are in the room for Apple. Normally we start at 4 p.m., but we'll start at 3.50, looking to see if Carvana moves the market on their earnings. Apple is a 4.30 event, a family money trade. Friday, one more day, we're gonna get up early for Cardinal Health earnings. That's at 6.30 in the room and then 8 a.m. for Canada's jobs report and the U.S. non-farm employment report, also the U.S. That's the US jobs report. We'll finish out the week with the ISM services, a family money trade at 9.30 on Friday. Very, very busy week. Make sure that you sign up for the challenge so you can learn how to take advantage of all of these fantastic potential opportunities. It's a great way to trade. We know in advance when we're going to trade, where we're going to be. No watching markets and monitors for 20 hours a day. Lee Goldstein here. Thanks for watching. Hope your weekend is going great. Thank you, and I'll see you in the trade room next week.